What's up, chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, it is, yes, you saw it in the title. It is Slay Your First Day, Back to School, Beat Your Face, but at the same time, don't break your budget, don't break your bank, and make sure you do everything drugstore. So today's video, that is what I'm giving you guys. I'm going to make you slay your first day with your makeup look, but at the same time, using drugstore products. You are not going to splurge. You don't have to splurge or go over budget to look flawless and for you to slay your first day back to school. I could have done an easy back to school look for you guys, but I didn't. I said, hell, you have to slay your first day at school. So that is the makeup look that I created for you guys today. It's such a, it's a bronzy color. So you are going to slay your first day back at school and they're gonna remember you like the girl who slayed the first day of school. <laughs> so I know, I know nowadays girls, typically girls that are, I will say, let's do high school. High school girls are going to pretty much beat their face when it comes to makeup going to school. Because right now that is what's in, that is what's cool. Like Instagram and do it for the gram and all this. So I know that this makeup look is not too much for you to slay your first day at, back at school. Like <laughs> trust me. Back in the days when I was going back to school, there was no such thing as doing my brows or anything. I was just more like a chongalicious. I did have like this brown liner on my lips with pink gloss and the white liner on my eyes and my lash and my brows were as thin as paper. That is what I remember my first day makeup look like. <laughs> and now you have all these amazing different looks that you can create and it's not fair because my first day at school i looked chongalicious really 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 bad so i'm happy that things have changed but at the same time i'm not if i'm in school i'm not gonna be wearing this makeup look every single day so yes it's just a first day impression type of thing so just before you start coming at me and be like that's too much listen you're gonna see how easy it is and the awesome thing is that it is affordable product so everything is from the drugstore so if you're ready for your first day back at school and you're ready to slay on a budget all you have to do is first subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down there and be part of my beautiful girlfriend squad here on YouTube and then now we can go ahead and get on to the tutorial alright so this is gonna be a talk through slash voiceover all that I just feel like I can explain myself a little bit more and talk to you guys and chit chat for a little bit so I did my brows I normally do my brows off camera I don't know I'm feeling like they're too they're too dark okay so I already prepped my skin with my moisturizer we're gonna jump into primer and I'm gonna be using the covergirl true blend uh, pore minimizing primer I love this primer guys I am obsessed with this primer like legit no joke it's an amazing primer I feel like I'm applying it with a foundation with a brush Kind of gives me more of an even application, so that's what I've been doing lately. Of course, where my pores are like, hello, I'm here. We're gonna jump into foundation. Um, I'm gonna do the eyes for last because I, I feel like the eyes are not that big of a deal, and while we're baking away, we can do the eyes. So you already know, I'm gonna be mixing my two favorite foundations at the moment from the drugstore. It's the CoverGirl True Blend um, Matte Made and the 24 Hour Foundation by Maybelline. Super stay. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and try the Revolution um, Conceal and Define Concealer. I picked this up at Ulta. I have never ever tried every, anything from their line, but I've had I've had a lot of people who I follow rave about the concealer, say that it's super, super good. So let's go ahead and give it a try. It was like six bucks. So I love the one. It's one of those thick... 
It's one of those thick ones as you can see. It's so, so nice. So let's see how that sits on my skin. Super creamy. Let's see how um, full coverage it is. Okay guys, so, um, honestly speaking, eh, eh, I tried better, I have tried better concealers from the drugstore, to be honest, um, I'm not, I'm not impressed, I'll pass on it, to be honest, I'll pass on it, um, we're gonna bake our eyes with the NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder, this one right here, where is it? This is what it looks like, and it's the white one, so... Oh, shoot! Whoa, this is very thin. I've never... Oh, my God. Super thin. My God. You can't even pick it up with the damn beauty blender. Oh, hell no. We can't... We can't bake our under eyes with this. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but I cannot bake my under eyes with that. So, we're gonna skip that. That was a big, epic fail. Super, super thin. Doesn't work, so... You can use the um, air spun from the drugstore. It's really good. I ran out of it, so please excuse that I have to use a high-end powder for this. I don't have any other loose powder that I can use at the moment that is from the drugstore, so let's skip that. That was a big, epic fail. So we are just going to bake our under eyes. The air spun uh, powder, it's really good for baking under the eyes. And it's only like five bucks at Walgreens, so you can use that one. So yes, baking, I feel like it is very important, even if you're going to school. Nowadays, people going to school, they do beat their face to the gods. Like, that's what they say, I only have one god. But they beat their faces to the point where there's just like, what the hell? And you're like 15, 16 years old. So I know that for a fact, you're going to school, you're gonna bake your face. So we're gonna set our rest of our face so we can start working on the eyes. I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl True Blend uh, Fondage um, Powder to set everything else that I'm not baking at the moment. So this is gonna help everything stay in its place. Making sure that this is a full coverage ready for the gram. Okay, so we are going to be using the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Palette. Have you guys seen this palette around? I've seen it on Instagram. I was able to pick it up at Ulta. It's very pretty. It's number eight. So I'm going to apply it with a fluffy brush. Okay, let's see. On the crease of my eye. Hey, not bad. Ooh, not bad at all. Oh, look at that. That was nice. Ooh, that was very nice. Oh, I am impressed. Alright, so I'm gonna go now with the darker shade, that's too dark. I'm gonna go with the one next to it, which is this one right here, which is number nine. I'm gonna go with number nine, and I'm gonna use a smaller dome brush, and I'm gonna pack on onto the on the brush, and I'm going to use that on my inner crease, sort of give it um, a little bit of definition. So guys, I'm gonna be here between the darker shade and the lighter shade, back and forth, um, just pretty much blending everything, making sure that it's well blended and I have the and I have the intensity of the color that I like. So that's what I'm just gonna be doing, back and forth, 
the shimmer shades are very pretty but we're going to be using um, a pixie these are called the pixie liquid fairy lights they are um, they're like eyeshadows like the liquid eyeshadows that Stila came out with hello so this is what it is this color is the color rose gold and I'm gonna apply that on my lids we're gonna apply that on our lids on our oh that's pretty oh yeah and I'm gonna concentrate on the inner corner inner to mid of the lid I'll tell you why it'll be a lot easier because if you try to do the whole thing you're gonna end up with trying to do a cut crease and it's gonna be very hard And then I'm gonna take that same dark shade, number, I think it was number nine that we used, right? Yeah, number nine. I'm gonna go ahead and take number nine, guys, and I'm going to finish the outer part of the eye and blend it in. So, sort of like right down here and then blend it all the way in so it kind of stays together, everything kind of blends together. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lighter shade, number two, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take number two. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take number two, it's like the vanilla color. And I'm gonna use that to blend everything on my highlight bone, my highlight brow bone. My brow bone, highlight, I can't speak. All right, so the same thing I did to the top part of the eyes, I'm gonna use those two colors, those two brown colors on the corner number eight and number nine and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the bottom of my eyes my camera died in the process of whether I was choosing a liner and a liner okay so I ended up going with liner guys I did a small wing line and then I applied the lashes the liner I use is this pixie um, this is called the Black Liner Duo. It's by Pixie. It has a cold liner on one side, a pencil liner, and then it has a liquid liner on the other side, which I love because it's very thin and fine. So I ended up doing a very close line to my lash line and applying the falsies and kind of brought the whole look together as you can see. Some people are gonna be like, Francis, that's too much for going back to school. But let me tell you, nowadays, these, girls think that going to school is like going to the club and you guys are just gonna slay okay so after the eyes we are going to go ahead and move on to the um the rest of the face so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um show you that we're going i'm going to be using the pixie bronze palette by mariam and i'm going to be using this color on the top to bronze my face to so use it as a bronzer I'm not going to do the whole contour and highlight like very intense, but I am going to apply bronzers normal the bronzer normally where I would contour. So Oh yes. Oh yes, honey. Oh yes, I love that part. <laughs> I love that powder. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and jump onto blush and highlight while I carve my under part. I'm gonna be using the Flower Power Blush in Peach Primrose. It's like a nice peachy color. It's a very nice peachy color. The lights here are just being a biatch and watching everything off. I love it because it brings a nice color to the skin, but yet it's really subtle. And oh, I love this color, guys. It's by far one of my favorite um, bronze, uh, blushes. Okay, so now for a highlight, we are going to be using the Pixie. Uh, Damn! We are going to be using the Pixie Subtle Sunrise. It's the Glowy Duo. We are going to be using both of them together. Who I be with my highlight? They will remember me for the rest of my life, the school year, as the girl as the girl <laughs> with the blinding highlight yes hunty <laughs> okay 
So now I'm going to do my lips. We are going to lip line. Okay, so we're gonna lip line our lips. We're gonna contour our lips. And I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Liner Cryon in the color Caramel Nude. Of shade. I have so many CoverGirl lipsticks here. And I highly recommend doing a, this one's perfect. I highly recommend doing a liquid lipstick because like that is going to, um, it's gonna stay with you in your lips all day, talking, pictures and all that. So I recommend doing liquid lipsticks and I'm using a CoverGirl liquid lipstick. And I'm gonna start in the middle and then arc my way around it. If you recreate this look let me know if you do if you do and you take that slay picture okay, make sure you tag me on Instagram because I would love to see your back-to-school looks that you create it could either be mine it could either be anyone from YouTube but let me know I want to see how you slay your first day back at school so I hope you like the video hope you like the tutorial hope you're ready for school <laughs> if you like the video and you're ready for school no, I don't think I've read. Yeah, if you're ready to slay your first day back at school, give this video a big old thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down there. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys for sticking until the end. Muchas besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.